All right, so just finished up for the day. Um, just kind of wanted to post on a couple things. First, uh, some of the guys I'm training and girls um, are doing just great. And uh, just got done with a session with uh, one of my uh, top professional triathletes, uh, Laura. And she's really been working hard just on one aspect of her stroke, her left arm. She was really dropping the elbow on the pool. She's been working all summer. She's been in Europe, but she's been working all summer on just having a better pull with that left arm, trying to get the elbow up instead of pulling with the drop in the elbow. It's really made a big difference. We just got out of a workout, and she did some things that she's never been able to do because of that one small part of her stroke. She breathes to the right, and so she had a tendency to use that left arm to support a head lift, and now she's uh, not using that arm to support a head lift but to pull her forward so she's getting on top of that elbow earlier and pulling back and she's also rotating a little bit better so she was able to do some things on the set today that she's never done so part of the uh the post here is work on the small things because over time they can make a big difference and then uh before that i was working with um special forces guy um, that used to be uh, over in the, with the Brits and is over here just uh, just really dedicated and working hard. And he's also focusing on some small things and has made some huge progress. So over time, I guess the message is uh, you're going to get better if you just work on uh, small aspects of the stroke, kind of figure out what's the biggest thing that you can be doing, focus on that for improvements, and it'll happen over time. Then in my own swimming... Uh, you know, went to nationals. I won the 800 in my age group. Still slow as far as I'm concerned. Think I've got a lot more in me. Uh, but after taper and shaving, it's a good idea to really practice because uh, while you're feeling fast, swim fast because we swim fast by swimming fast. And so the last couple of weeks, I've had some great swimming in practice. And a lot of times I'll plan a set and uh, be ready to do that set. But a couple times in the last few weeks, I felt good enough to just say, okay, I'm going to change the set because I want to see how fast I can go. And uh, was able to push 100 yards and break 55 for the first time in a couple years. So 54 low, almost 53 high for 100 yards push. Felt really good about that. And a couple days before that, I did a set of descending 300s. Uh, 400, four 300s descend. And on the last one, I was just like, okay, I feel pretty good today. This doesn't happen often, guys. So but when I feel good, uh, we got to go for it. So pushed a 303, 300 yards, which is uh, good for my age and my time. I haven't been under three minutes probably in five years or more and probably haven't gone under even 307, 309 in two or three years. So to push a 303, felt good about that um, and want to keep it rolling. So this year, some of the changes I'm going to make in my training is to adjust when I feel good and adjust my train. When I feel good, I'm going to adjust my sets to really push it and try to swim fast because that's what we need to do to swim fast at the meets is see some fast times in practice. And when I uh, feel not so good, you know, the decision is do we plow through or do we make adjustments? And so we've got to be smart. Sometimes it's better to plow through uh, depending on what our goals are later in the week. Sometimes it's better to back off if we know we've got some things coming up or maybe a race or some challenge sets coming up later in the week. So be smart about your training. We can have a lot of fun. It's really neat um, racing still at my age and feeling like you're 10 years old again. And I've been asked, well, you know, um, you know, because I, I have two comments on racing. I love it and hate it at the same time. I love it because I do get those feelings of when I was a kid and we all want to do our best and be our best. Uh, the hate part comes in if we really work hard, sacrifice, and we don't do the best we can. But at the same time, if we get frustrated, that just gives us fuel to get back in and, and do it. The aging process alone will change how we train. We've always got to be on the lookout, be smart about rest, about uh, recovery. And um, so it can just be a lot of fun. This is not a complete science, although there's a lot of science to it. It is an art. So good luck. We have a lot of fun doing these things and glad you're on the journey.